I would like to dedicate this video to my grandfather. He was an amazing man. When we were kids, he often used to tell us jokes, stories, legends, and frequently tease our brains with impressive number of riddles he, he knew of the top of his head. A year ago, he passed away. So I made this video in his memory. The Red Wheelbarrow, a poem by William Carlos Williams. So much depends upon a red wheel barrel, glazed with the rain water beside the white chickens. So what does it mean? If you search on YouTube or just Google it, you will get quite impressive number of solutions and analysis that are pretty much misleading and to a great extent simply wrong. Additionally, the author's own story about seeing the wheelbarrow through a window while he was visiting a patient one day is there just to lead you away from the real solution. You have to understand that William Carlos Williams was a genius, illusionist, magician, a real master of deception. And I will tell you more about it in a deeper analysis some other time. In order to solve this poem, the first thing you need to do is to stop calling it a poem. Just for a while, call it a riddle. Okay then, so what is the solution of this riddle? The solution is... Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 da. Words. What? There are words all over the poem. Dude, what the fuck? No, no, no. I mean literally. The answer is words. Okay, okay, calm down, wait, listen. Red wheelbarrow glazed with the rain water represents tongue. And white chickens represent your teeth. Your tongue and teeth produce sounds. Therefore, the answer is words. In order to cement this statement, let me remind you about the first paragraph of the poem that says, so much depends upon. Those two words at the beginning, so much, are saying that there is a deeper meaning beyond simple picture of just wheelbarrow and chickens. You may be heard or read the saying, the word is mightier than the sword, written by a Syrian sage 500 years before Christ. Or you heard something similar, as through history this quote has a different shapes and forms. You can check a few of them in video description down below. Now, think about the quote in the context of this poem. Message is very simple. Through history, words were determining outcome of relationships, inventions. Words were behind every failed or successful project. Companies, wars, countries and fates of many human beings were often hanging on very thin thread of what is said and how it's been said. So the next time, be careful what you say and how you say it, as so much depends on it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please subscribe, share and thank you for watching. And yes, one more thing. Thank you, Grandpa.